Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to another Salt and Sanch. So I think last time we were, uh, I mean, I say like last time, like it was a long time ago, but it really wasn't. Um, we basically finished this area out. There we go. Um, and some stuff may have happened to allow us to explore some more. And if that's the case, then I'm very interested. Oh, there you go. Damn it. It's too much, man. It's too much. Right, the invisiblest men. Ha 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 ha. Ah, I still got it. I have several of the item that allows me to see them. I just... I feel like I don't need to, you know? There you go. I hate three quarters view in, in this. I feel like we haven't seen it in so long. That it's like, it's, it's screwing me up. Pardon me, sir. Oh, there's that thing up there, huh? And what's down here? I feel like I haven't gotten even close to using up my uh, new supply of rolls. I did a little bit last time. before I got nine of the things, but now not so. So, I, I got back to here. Okay. So, there's also the area above me. And that's the shortcut door for that. Oh, boy. Let's top off, shall we? Wait, where is that? Is that like anywhere? That's not cool, guys. That's so not cool, guys. Okay. Saw this uh, earlier as well. I saw that Chang. So this is the Dome of the Forgotten. 
Are we going to at some point encounter a creature known as the the third lamb? Let's top off, huh? Okay. Ground pounds. Uh huh. Lamb, huh? Okay. Wow, he's got combos. He's real. He's for real. I'll admit it. He's for real. I, I'll also say this much. I don't really see the lamb. I see no sheep in there. Oh shit. Again, guys, really? Still jerking me around with this sort of thing? I should sue. I am excruciatingly aware of the fact that, yes. The fact that I have uh, heavy armor on is to is to blame for this, but I am still against just, you know, saying hey. I like that notes is like chest it monster, thank you. What is uh what do clerics look like? Do you need aid? See, what I really wanted there was just to burn some money, but I have been actually considering going into uh, clericery. Rowan Corsier. Okay, I feel like going in totally fresh will let me uh, stay ahead of him. I feel like that was my issue last time. Guys. I'm just trying to platform here. Damn it. That's a uh, acceptable amount of gold to pay for a resurrection, I feel. Okay.
I wonder how I'm supposed to get down there exactly. Pardon me, I've got some plum juice that I really wanted to drink. Pain. Is this boss, like, really hard or something? I mean, he doesn't seem too terrible. I say that jinxing, my, jinxing myself, of course. His attacks are kind of annoying. How do I... See, I'm content to take that hit. It means that I don't have to worry about how to get away from an attack that hits forwards and backwards from me. Well, come now, sir. Chew. Probably heal. Yeah, all right. Victory set. The sacrifice. So he is named. And the third lamb's beak. I guess because I can't get his tooth, and that's the closest equivalent for a Boyd. My brand! The air, it's so still. I was drawn to this dome for reasons I don't understand. It's so lonely here. I long for a friend, but I think I've driven everyone away. I've, everyone I've loved away. Have you heard of Hard Light? Let me tell you. Hard Light has been described not unlike crystallized moonbeams. It can be seen and touched by those that possess a Hard Light brand. But those unable to touch it will see its traces. You'd like that brand, wouldn't you? Yes, please. Well, it's simple as that. Accept it. I'm here to think too, don't you? I enjoy solitude, but you're always welcome to join me. I like to think about how meaningful my actions are. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh. I see. Well, let me just... This is a little faster than going back to the menu, although it isn't free. So what am I gonna what am I getting myself into if I want to go into magic? Cleric. Okay. There are some willpower down here. And healing juice. File sleeve. I assume that's the equivalent of Estus for uh, magic. But yeah, I'm rather content with uh, my ability to...
mend. Restore HP. Okay, now how do I do that? Oh! It goes on like an item. That's rather useful. Oh, and it burns permanent juice. I see. Well, do I have the healing item? Hmm. What's this? Throwing dagger. Well, whatever. Crunch. Kind of interesting, uh, kind of an interesting way to go about using magic in this game. Magic in Souls has always been really, really hard to balance. Because stuff like Demon Souls magic, and to an extent Dark Souls, is crazy busted and overpowered. Pardon me, sir. So let's check what this is doing for me. Wow. Fine by me. So interesting that... So odd, really, that they would tie so many of these things to, like, using a torch. Okay. Oh, and this is that. Yes, this leads to the dome of uh, something or other. The the ziggurat of dust. Yes. Yeah, just. Give up at this point, guys. So the thing about that is that it's technically free, but it reduces permanent stamina. Well, I wanted to see about hopping back up here and finishing the area I didn't. I feel like the real reason that these both use torches, that was dumb. I feel like the real reason that both of these abilities use torches is not truly because they have, like, some mythological connection to light. But they were like, we, we've used every button on the controller already. What could we do with it now, you know? So how do I... Ah, yes. <laughs> so close, and yet so far. So it'll still be good to uh, keep using my regular chomps, but I, I'm feeling that like a... Guys. Ah uh, yes, and there were things up here as well. Ha! 
Haha! -ha. Stone guide. Ooh! That's pretty good, actually. Although I will say I am I am again like just kind of getting blown away by how nuts this this game is like the online integration the gameplay like damn this is a good one this is a good game guys like honestly they should just feel proud of themselves okay uh huh uh huh uh huh oh and that's the safe way to get down. Oh, and this is that above area from before. Yes, I see. Pardon me, sir. I'll just be out of your hair. Uh-oh. <clears throat> well, it worked out. See you later, fucker. Charged ring. Hmm. Increases magic. Oh, do I have a increased wisdom? Yeah, all right, cool. Uh-oh. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this. Guys, I'm labbing. You can't you can't do this right now. Don't talk to me when I'm labbing. I should get it like a mug that says that. No one will know what it means, except me. I guess Robert might know, but I don't live with Robert right now. Not you again. God, the loudest sound possible. Salt and Sanctuary 2017. That was when it came out, right? Gray Poil. Aha, yes. So now that I can go in here and explore around. That was legitimately creepy. Yeah, they like darken your torch. So the ruined temple. I don't think I've ever been in here. Yes, I have. Cool. I 
think like maybe I have been in here. The way that it's like half cut into the rocks is cool. And then this leads back up to dome. Okay, cool. This is some honest exploration going on here. Dude, I'm so close to that. I know I Huh, am I not supposed to be over here? I must just need another double jump, right? <laughs> Those crow noises actually kind of scared me a little. Okay. All right, and I'm back. I took a little break to go flip my laundry. I also got myself more juice scrape this time. ASMR. So I'm guessing that wisdom will let me push my stats further. Okay. And then that lets me grab this, this, and then push along to here. So what else can I get? Light. Sacred linens. Reduce some wounding. Divine armor. One moment. All right. All righty. So I want to find out what... Oh, it's just like a torch. Uh-huh. I see. I guess it's probably the uh, level two stuff that lets me like do offensive magic. Like, I'll be honest, I love playing paladin builds. They're probably one of my favorite like classes period in any game, but they often kick ass in games like this. Like, Cleric builds used to be really good in Dark Souls. They're still pretty alright in Dark Souls 2, but they got nerfed all to hell in uh, Dark Souls... Or they're good in Dark Souls 1, but they got nerfed all to hell in Dark Souls 2, and then Dark Souls 3 has problems with magic. I actually ran some numbers recently about it. Because um, I remember... Uh, you know... The dev team of Dark Souls 3 being like, oh, focus points will be good for casters, and it wasn't. Uh, basically. Playing as a caster. If you have, if you're playing as a caster in Dark Souls... One, you can cast Fireball about 80 times, A to zero. Nice. 
Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, and I think that that number goes up to maybe 90 in DS2. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting distracted by all this bullshit. But in Dark Souls 3, you can cast Fireball about 30 times. And that's with max stats in regards to casting that sort of stuff. Which is, I think, really the problem with Focus. Because Focus could never be better than Attunement Slots. And, like, I'll be honest, I actually really like the Dark Souls system of magic. It does require that you have, like, a bonfire or long rest style thing. Because they're very similar to, you know, D&D spell slots. But I really, really actually just love the way that Dark Souls handles magic. Like, that's a system that I don't really see much people, like, emulate or use. And that's a shame, because it's such a unique system. It's an interesting way of making spell slots work. But, like, they change what a, a slot is, and, like... You can balance some spells by giving them more or less casts, which is something you can't do in D&D. Everything has to fit a certain level. And so you get some things that are, like, really good for their level. Um, or some things that are really bad for their level. But because of the way that uh, things like Fireball get balanced, like, it's a little easier to balance those because it's like, well, we can just give you a more ammo for them. I was, by the way, I'm back in the Red Hall of Cages because I was told that I missed something here. Nice. I don't know that I did. I'm led to believe that this game has illusory walls and I didn't know about it which would be really inconvenient for me. The light is not as good as a torch. That's a little irritating. But yeah, and then my next uh, plan of attack was to head to the good old goddamn... Whoops. Ah, shit. Oh. I was going to go to the Pyramid of Dust. The Ziggurat of Dust, again. Pardon. I guess if I miss something, I just miss it. I would like to avoid missing bosses, but I don't exactly know what I'm looking for in here, so. I feel kind of odd about my decision to buff up the ziggurat of all things. Because, like, the first... Sanctuary in the game is like Really?
But yeah, I would argue that the first uh, sanctuary in the game might be a good place to put a bunch of my guys down, but for whatever reason, I didn't. Okay, that leads to the Castle of Storms. So what is this? Hmm? I can no longer use... Oh! Is that thing like a separate bar? Weird, but cool. The little red bar on it. Is this 500? Yes. I've got five stone guides. Hot damn. Okay. Let's grab this. Just to just to see, you know. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Ah, so that was what the blue crystal was. Crush it to restore some fatigue. So if I cast this, my fatigue is bottoming out. It's a little bar next to my stamina. <laughs> it just has like stock like chomp W like WMV. That's silly. So, I guess we're going to go see the Ziggurat of Dust. I think that's where we're heading next. Uh, and then that would probably be a good place to cut the episode, right? Um, thank you all for coming. I, uh, I, I like the idea of branching out and trying some new stuff. Uh, that's, that's cool to me. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed as well. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Thank you.